The Garrett followed the stolen missile boat to this location. It has entered a container for transport. An Imperial scout in the area reports that no craft have left. The missile boat must still be here. Tau-1 will inspect the rebel containers until the missile boat is located. Then destroy that container. Five TIE fighters from Delta Group will provide Starfighter cover for the operation. Three TIE interceptors from Zeta Group and three TIE advanced from Eta Group will be held in reserve. The Garrett's forces need to locate and retrieve the stolen missile boat from the rebels' possession. Tau-1 will be responsible for inspecting the containers to find the hidden missile boat. After the missile boat's presence has been verified, destroy the container. The rebels acquired this missile boat from Namora Din. He was not only a traitor to the Empire, but he also betrayed Zarin by giving one of the few missile boats in Zarin's hands to the rebels. With the Battle of Endor imminent, the rebels must not have the firepower of the missile boat on their side. It is imperative that the rebels never disassemble the missile boat and learn its secrets. You will fly the only missile boat left assigned to the Garrett. You will be designated Tau-1. There will be only one ship in your flight group. For this mission, your craft has been loaded with the standard armament of 80 advanced missiles. Your craft will have the tractor beam installed. You will be going up against a rebel stronghold. This base will probably have many rebel starfighters assigned to it. Hello there! It is day two of me doing this. I've woken up, had a shower, poured myself a lovely cup of tea, and I'm back at it. Because this mission, funnily enough, after having not played this game for about two or three months, kind of hard to play and talk at the same time. So, uh, we are in the last missile boat left, so a flight group of one, and we need to blow up a whole load of starfighters and a corvette and scan a thing, then destroy the thing after the thing's been picked up by another thing, making sure that our star destroyer doesn't get blown up in the meantime. It's something you can do without too, I think, without too much trouble if you're like, focused on it the whole time, but I'm going to be distracted because of this whole situation. So, the cloak figure wants to say a thing, which is... Lord Vader wants it confirmed whether the missile boat has already been disassembled or not. When you locate the missile boat, we will launch a craft to board and take it. Cool. So, you could technically blast right through everything and scan the thing immediately, but I'm not going to do that, because as you do that, then you're really far away from all the starfighters who are going to come out and target you immediately because you're in a missile boat, and, uh, you know, if, uh, the further away you are from starfighters, the easier it is for them to get a target lock on you, and the harder it is for you to dodge a higher volume of missiles. So I'm going to kill all the starfighters first, but trying not to waste all of my missiles? It's a whole thing. Delta 1 to Tau 1, you target C-95 Headhunter Red 2, we'll get the rest. You say this, but I'm actually gonna hold back behind all these. Assault gunboat row one, heading back to base. Happy okay. hunting. I'm gonna hi hold back behind all these TIE fighters, so the TIE fighters get in and take the brunt of this first wave for me. They should kill Red 2, and then I might have to deal with Red 1 or possibly Red 3, but I'm then gonna definitely have to deal with these uh, star chasers. Um, there's gonna be some X-Wings turn up. I'm pretty much gonna leave the X-Wings alone, because, uh, you know, they're not really gonna go for me, they're gonna go for the Star Destroyer, and I don't want to spend all of my missiles on them, so it should be okay. Am I forgetting anything? No? No, um, a bunch of, yep. Okay, cool. Uh, so these are the containers we need to scan. Uh, we can't just go for the one which has it in them, 
because uh, which has the missile boat inside because it's in a different one every time. Uh, the first few times trying this, I thought it was just always going to be in the last one that you check. There's also a strike cruiser. We don't really have to worry about that. I'm actually going to call for reinforcements. For reinforcements because I think that... Um, I think that the reinforcements will deal with the strike cruiser. Incoming missile. Super. There we go. Okay, so I just need to be on the ball. So whenever they shoot missiles at me, I can turn shit down because they're not using mag pulse weapons anymore. Uh... These star chasers, I am going Watch to... It with that missile Shut up! Tower one. These star chasers, I'm not going to missile. Because I, I need to save my missiles, because if I run out... Uh, Incoming nope. missile. Okay, that hit it. Because uh, they are quite close, so the... Good thing about being so close is it's harder for them to get a lock on me. The bad thing about being so close is that when they get a lock on me, and they fire, there's no time to dodge or to turn and shoot them down. Incoming missile. Like you can see there, uh, by the time that the warning sound had faded away, I, you know, had been hit by the missile. So, that's a thing. I mean, it's going faster. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's put that beam weapon to use. I've got a charge and fire. Okay, someone had a lock on me. Alright, so just with the amount of guys that are flying around me right now, I am going to miss all of them. Okay, wait, no, they're, uh... Okay, that's all good. I'm just gonna hold you. Behold! Alright. You... Okay, so no way... Zeds. Okay, where's the guy holding now? 4%, that's fine. Okay, this is next wave of Zeds is all gonna go for me, which is gonna be unfortunate. Oh, that's good tea. It's uh, New York breakfast, by the way, so head on down to T2. Get yourself some New York breakfast. Oh, it's tasty. It's vanilla and cinnamon. Um, yeah, so these guys are gonna come straight for me. Incoming missile. Well, there we go. Uh, in case you missed that, they shot down one of their own starfighters. Which is cool, I'm a fan. Uh, cause they're in two tight of a group. But the one who was in front didn't fire a missile, only one of the ones behind him did, but a single missile, cause they're firing advanced missiles now. A single missile will just destroy a Z95. It's a, it's a good time. Hold still, buddy. Excellent. Okay, okay another R4-1. Quite close. Okay, you can take a missile as well. So I just don't want to have to deal with you. Um, you, because you're full. Where are you? There you are. Hold still, buddy. There you go. Alright. You, you got half shield, so I'm just gonna. You can just be lasered. Okay, there's quite a few missiles flying about out there, and I'm hoping that they're not going towards the garret. Because the garret can very much be destroyed in this mission. Not fun when it does. Alright, looking for any. This is X Wings. You know what? I'm gonna go after you, because you're gonna be going after the garret and firing torpedoes and stuff, and I don't like that! There, so you got down at 84. Where's. Um, yeah, quite low. Oh, you're good. Any more X Wings? Yes. You. We'll fire off a single missile. No, he's dead. Alright. Blue. Okay, B Wings. You have to deal with these B Wings, and that means there's going to be A Wings. What did I tell you? Alright. So. Okay, there we go. So. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like these A-Wings are going to be first. Set my shields to full. Well, you know, pump all the power into my shields. Come on, come on. There we go. From the lasers into the shields, leaving the shields at regular charging levels. Uh, just so we can get some extra speed, because we're going to use all that laser power at some point. Fire that off, switch off to lasers and pull one side. Cool, now switch to the other guy. Incoming missile. Yeah, he shot a missile at me, but doesn't matter. I just 
bump the microphone, it's all good. Hold it in place, because your shields are down, you're only gonna need... Well, your shields aren't down, but they're low. You're gonna need the one missile. Now, B-Wings, on the other hand, will need three missiles apiece. There Two and one. Good shooting. Go. Now the B-Wing. Oh, and the supply place. craft has been launched to reload your craft, Tower One. Good hunting. I wonder if I'll actually get a chance to use it this time. There it goes. You. You can just take one. Oh, giggity good. All right. Space bombs. I'm okay. If you feel unlucky, you can try and shoot down these space bombs. Friends are shooting them down with missiles, which is probably, like, a good thing, but try not to accidentally shoot the Garrett, because, and I'm speaking from experience, the a Garrett- rebel Corvette is heading towards the containers. If you shoot the Garrett by accident, the Garrett will absolutely turn around and start firing missiles at you, and then you're fucked. So, I forget who it was, you were asking about having, um, friendlies accidentally start shooting at you. That's probably why, because uh, you accidentally shot them while trying to save them or something. You know what happens. Uh, yeah, like in like in Halo. If you shoot too many of the Marines, they will eventually turn around and start killing you. Yeah. I think five. Incoming missile. Play. Damn it. It's gonna be A wings. I wonder, did I kill the Corvette? Where are you? Come on, buddy. Pull away. There we go. Target uh, destroyed. Yes, yes I did. Hey. Also, you gotta remember to destroy that Corvette, because otherwise... Good shooting. You'll lose. Alright, it's another A-Wing. It's coming in. It's pulled away. That's great. Deal with you, and then right back onto B-Wings. Come on. Get in here. Oh, come on, missiles! I'm not gonna waste on missiles. I'm just gonna hold this guy and wait. There we go, see? There we go. Excellent hunting. Okay. Also, some Y wings to deal with. Uh, I like to think that my teammates will probably have the, uh, the B-Wings dealt with. Okay, if you can just hold on. There you go. And... There you go. And... I don't even need a beam in. There you go. Alright. That's good. That's great. Hold you in place. Hit you with the missiles and the beam weapon. You are set. Excellent hunting. Brilliant. Another one. Okay, now I'm gonna hold him until I'm behind him because I want these missiles to, you know, hit him. And then I'm going to. Oh, I'm gonna get some more character that beam weapon. And I'm gonna up the laser. Excellent shooting. Because I wanna, I wanna save this laser power as much as I can. Are you? One missile. Excellent work. Brilliant. Uh, okay, you'll be fine. Do, 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 what's over here? There's a lot of green over here. Uh. Uh. The shields are quite low. B wings coming in. All right, I'm gonna have to deal with these bees. Not bees wise. You and you and you and you. Excellent shooting. Brilliant. Okay, I feel a lot better about all this. Uh, that's it's a lot of uh, space bombs. I'm guessing. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it, because I don't want to accidentally hit the Garrett. Uh, what have we got? Alright, so all the friendly starfighters are down. Good! Okay. Let us 
have a look. So, I'm gonna drop my beam power. I'm just gonna head over to these containers. Mission critical craft. Shields down. No, he's dead. He's totally dead. He's totally screwed. Totally boned. Let's see there for five so I can check on you later. We're gonna need to do this quickly. So I'm gonna fly and gonna drop my shields entirely. Just gonna scan them as quick as I can, and then I'm going to find the one which has the missile boat in it, and I'm gonna damage it. Um with my lasers. Because the um the the we we need to destroy it afterwards. Which is fair enough, you know, we need, we, need to, we need to get rid of the evidence, I guess. I don't know why uh, we still need to destroy it. But uh, that's a thing that we have to do. And the Gary needs to survive until we do that. So if you end up like me and, you know, you're one laser shot away from destroying it before you've completed the mission, then, you know, life sucks, I guess. Swing around. And... Cool. Cool, alright. Wait, no, I want to set you to F6. Cool, and then you. Alright, A wings. Uh, I need beam power. God damn it! Hold me in place, hold me in place. No, there's someone else getting a lock on me. Someone else getting a lock on me. Incoming missile. Oh! Right, so there's two lots of A wings. Oh, <laughs> this will be fun. Okay. Where are you, buddy? Come here. Come here. I want everyone to go after the B wings, though, but I'm not going to be able to tell everyone to do that because not in my flight group because I'm a flight group of one. Ah, oh, life sucks. Nah, life's great. I know what you're talking about. Life is literally the only thing you can currently experience that we know of. So it's all the best and worst things. Excellent work. Uh, you know what, guys? As much as today may suck, you're never gonna have to deal with it again. Except in memories. Good shooting. Alright, so that's all the. Okay, cool. Okay, so, how are you sitting? 50% hull. That's not great. How are you sitting? 80% hull. That's fine. Now, where is it? That's. Uh, uh, going up in there, too. Oh, A Wings. Hello, A Wings! Hello, friends! Hold him! Hold him! Come on! Come on, buddy! There we go! Okay, and you... Oh, wow, you're quite low. Just gotta hold him in place and let, let that guy deal with him. Come on, shoot him! I'm holding him for you. There we go. Oh, T-Wings. Uh, teamings are an issue. Just cause they're fast. Okay, so you guys, you guys clearly weren't here for this. But yesterday, I had a big long rant about how cool T-Wings look and how annoyed I am that the, uh, gunboat made it into the X-Wing Miniatures game before the T-Wings did. What? Where is the justice in that? Oh, these guys aren't even gonna find me. Oh, buddy! Okay, 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 okay. Right. Holding you still. Hunting. Oh, they're super flimsy though. They're super flimsy. I do reckon they should be faster. Like to make up for how flimsy they are. They should be. Well, I would like to see them be faster than they are. Cargo ferry Omega One to Tau One. We're under attack. No. Omega One to Tau One. We need help now. Stop that. Come on! Get back here! First time anyone's ever attacked the cargo ferry. Stop that. Stop going black, I don't like that. The screen. Don't let the screen go black. I can't. Oh, that was two missiles. He only needs one! Ah, uh, well. Justice. Alright, so. Nope. Trick has been deactivated. Get some regen in that, just in case. Uh, do, do, do you over there? Okay, how?
how close is you? One minute. No, yes, one minute forty-five, roughly. If you're playing this at home, here's a good time to turn up the speed. Except that I'm fairly sure they'll keep sending uh, star fighters every so often, just for a bit of fun. Oh, that's good tea. That's good tea. I gave up caffeine recently because I have a like I have this genetic gut issue, and every time that it flares up, it's uh. It's, it's not a good time. And, you know, I like to try out every so often just to see, hey, maybe if I cut this thing out of my diet, maybe it'll help. Uh, caffeine, when it's really bad, is, like, when this is really bad, caffeine is really bad for me. So, despite how much I love coffee, as I've cut caffeine out of my system, so I'm slowly easing back into having caffeine because I have all these lovely teas and amazing coffees, and I just can't have them. But, uh, screw it, right? So, bit of tea, every so often, less caffeine than coffee, and tastes nice. Just enough to, you know, keep my system going. I went three weeks, no caffeine, then I had a glass of Coca-Cola. Oh my god! Oh, it hit me! Oh, it really did. Really, really did. Wow, this is just nothing for, like, this amount of time, really? They're not even gonna send, like, another wave of tea wings or something? Yes, we're pretty much good. Once they, um, I do know that once they've uh, picked up the missile boat, they'll send in a frigate um, and another wave of B wings. Uh, but once they've picked up the missile boat, we just need to destroy the container and then hyperspace away. We hyperspace away before the Garrett gets destroyed, and therefore the Garrett is alive until all the other objectives are completed, and the Garrett's fine. So that's it. That's that's all. That's all we all we need to do. D -d -d ha. All right. Looks like he's coming in for his little landing, and we can. I'm gonna hold it just there. So Commence boarding operation. Deep. All right. Keep an eye out down here in case any enemies turn up. And any second now. Boarding operation there complete. Go. Secondary mission objectives completed. The Emperor will be pleased. We have the missile boat back intact. Our engineers will examine it shortly. You can destroy the container now, Tawa. Not a problem. We good? Or is it gonna take another missile? Good. Shoot it. Yeah. Target destroyed. Good. Work. Primary objectives completed. Uh, we prevented up. the rebels from retaining the missile boat. The Emperor will be pleased to hear this news. <laughs> oh, and A wings. Uh the B wings. Frigate. Krillin transports. Yeah, I'm just gonna hype the space away, you know? Because we've got everything else completed. We can just leave. So there's another battle happening? Oh boy. You can deal with that yourself. Ugh. Alright, good thing we don't have to hang around until that thing gets to hyperspace, otherwise this will be a fucked up mission. Anyway... Hot damn! Ugh. So, that was my first try today. Yesterday I spent about three hours recording. The Garrett's forces stopped the traitorous rebels from using the missile boat. Imperial Command does not think they had enough time to disassemble and research its technology. You will no longer be flying a missile boat, as their combat use has been restricted by the Emperor. In a series of sneak attacks, Zarin has managed to devastate the Empire's few missile boat manufacturing capabilities. Thousands of Imperial citizens were slaughtered in the attacks. All existing missile boats are to be put into protective storage until further notice. You are being transferred and reassigned to the Thai Advanced Squadron Alpha, where you will serve under Grand Admiral Thrawn. Your starfighter skills are needed to track down Zarin once and for all. Woo! So, as sad as I am to see the missile, bo missile boat go, because it was kind of fun to just have 80 missiles, uh... 
you know, like, it'll be nice to get back into a tie events, and it makes sense that they would be like, alright, this has been a little bit touch and go, let's just, uh, stop using them until that guy's dealt with, and then we'll find a way to start slowly ramping up production again. It's a pity for the Empire that this was all just before the Battle of Endor, because we all sort of know how that went for the Empire. Uh, not great. By retrieving the missile boat instead of just destroying it, you have confirmed that this craft was not disassembled. Therefore, the Rebels do not have its secrets. Once again, the Empire is victorious. Woo! Okay, well... That's, uh... That's it. That's good. Um... Done for today. I'll see you guys next time when we will be flying a TIE Advance, they just told us. Uh, no more gun- no more missile boats. Hopefully no more gunboats. It would be kind of funny to fly a TIE Fighter again. After all this. Just be like, oh hey, by the way, here's like, a little, uh, you know, a box with an engine strapped to it. Go have fun. Uh, that would be fun- funny. As like a final mission. Be like, enjoy- enjoy your TIE Fighter. But, anyway, I'll, uh, see you next time, guys. Bye.